Hi everyone, today I'm going to do my October favourites and this is the first time I'm doing monthly favourites videos but I was looking through my subscriptions and you know seeing everyone else doing their monthly favourites for, for October and I thought how have I never done a monthly favourites, how bizarre and I've been filming for quite a while now and I've never done one and there's always products I want to share with you guys so it makes sense for me to do a monthly favourites and because I haven't done one in a while or I've never done one before the, the products I'm going to show you are kind of my sort of monthly favourites from the last few months rather than just of October and then as I've caught up with myself I'll do you know update you on monthly favourites from next month um, and I'm really sorry that this is actually a little bit late because we're already into November um, but I've just not had a chance to film because I've been working so much so um, and before I start I just want to say hello to Tani Johnson hi Tani um, she's fast becoming a very good friend of mine and who I've met through YouTube um, and she sends me amazing emails with encouragement and kind words which I totally appreciate and if any of you guys want to email me do um, see my dis dis details in the description bar below um, and feel free to send me any feedback or questions or anything or just comment in the comment box because I always love hearing um, from you guys so let's make a start I've got all my products laid out so um, I'm going to go through the makeup and then I'll talk you through some of my other bits and bobs that are my monthly favourites. Um, first thing I want to start with my highlighter. This is a Tarte highlighter in champagne and the colour is something like this. I actually have it on right now. Um, so if you like my highlighter, this is the highlighter I've actually used um, and it's in champagne like I said. It's, it's quite a pricey one, I think it's about $35. Um, I think, but I bought it in Sephora in San Francisco, so I'm not actually sure if you can buy it in the UK or not, uh, but I totally love this product, this is amazing. I've had this for about six months, and I just rediscovered it when I was sorting out my makeup, and I was like, oh, I think I need to start using it. I started using it, and I absolutely fell in love with it, and all through October I've used it loads, so this is an amazing, amazing highlighter. Her next product is my Laura Mercier Foundation Radiance Primer and as you can see this tube is pretty much empty but luckily I have another one downstairs because I could not live without this primer. This is my holy grail of primers. I love it. This is one of my actual favourite products of all time. I don't think I'm ever going to not purchase it. Um, this just gives me a glow and it, it gives me that radiance that it kind of says on the tube. It's amazing. I put on my moisturiser. I put this on, I use this pretty much every single day and it just gives me um, a nice glow, even coverage and I'm good to go out the house without any other makeup on. This is just my one stop product, um, just if I wanted to use one product this would be it um, and I'd feel confident just leaving the house and not putting anything else on. I love this product. And this is from, uh, this was from Sephora but you can buy this in the UK as well, I think it's about 25 or 30 pounds. I will post all the details below as well. Um, another product, and this is a primer too, this is the MAC Natural Radiance Base Lumiere. And this was recommended to me at someone at the MAC counter and it's a yellow kind of um, primer in a squeezy kind of tube like that. And it's amazing just for kind of correcting your um, colouring and just giving smoothing out your base. So what I do is I mix this in with my moisturiser, I put a few squirts in my moisturiser and I put it all over my face and it just gives me a real nice kind of clears my complexion um, and really moisturising as well actually for my skin and in the winter as it's getting really cold in October in the UK this is a really nice product as well I think this is about £25. A couple of brushes I want to talk about. Now Real Techniques, you guys know about Real Techniques, they have amazing amazing brushes um, but this is a recent one I purchased and this is their powder brush and it's a huge big fluffy brush, really really soft bristles, really kind of packed in there, amazing for kind of setting powders or foundation powders, really really good, loving this, really soft, easy to get lots of product on your face really really quickly. Um, the other uh, brush I want to talk about is the Kevin O'Kan foundation brush. Now this brush is so expensive um, but I fell in love with it when I saw it a couple of weeks ago. It's densely packed bristles, really firm to use so you can really get all the foundation into kind of every little nook and cranny in your face and through all the little um, kind of pores, everything, really get it in there um, and it's about £66 but I love Kevin O'Kan's products. I would love to buy all of them but they're very very expensive um, but slowly I'm sure I'll build my collection up. I also have their Glowing Veil which is their bronzer which is a beautiful but this for a brush is just like amazing amazing brush and I th I'm going to try and keep it for a whole lifetime just so I get my money's worth. A lipstick that I recently purchased which was actually in my MAC haul video. I just dropped it. 
So a lipstick that I purchased that was recently in my MAC haul video which is all fired up and this is a gorgeous matte finish purpley pink in the whole family of Ruby Woo. I love Ruby Woo and the texture of Ruby Woo. I love the colour too but this is in the same sort of texture and feel um, and finish of Ruby Woo but in a purpley pink colour and it's all called All Fired Up and it came out in one of their new collections. Absolutely love this. I've been wearing this loads actually this month. Another makeup product that I purchased a few weeks ago and I've used quite a lot as well is the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights Face Illuminator and this is Bare Light Claire Naturel in 100. That's the colour of it. It's about £10. I got it from Super Drugs. And again, I can use this either, I mix it in with my moisturiser and it's kind of similar to the Laura Mercier one I um, showed you guys a little bit earlier, um, but a little bit cheaper as well. Love this. Really love the fact that goes on really well you can use it with your moisturizer or you know just separately on your face or just use it to highlight as you do with a highlighter down the center and on the cheekbones really really nice product and this color is perfect for kind of caramel um, tan brown skin kind of similar to mine now onto my perfume that I've been using and loving is a Zara Woman Oriental. This is amazing for everyday perfume. It's £10 in Zara, really affordable. Um, the smell is absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love this perfume. As you can see, I've only got a little bit left, but I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this because I wear this every single day and love it and always get lots of compliments as well because it's just got a gorgeous smell to it. So. If you guys are not familiar with Zara, Zara perfumes, definitely give them a go. I really recommend them. An item that I purchased in San Francisco eh, back in June is this Deep Sea Cosmetics Facial Peel, Deep Cleansing Facial Peel. Now, I know you can probably get it off the website, which is deepseacosmetics.com, and I'll put the, the um, details below. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually buy it in stores in the UK, but this is amazing. If you guys want me to do a video on it, do comment below. This is an amazing product. All you do, you put a little bit of the product all over your face, a thin layer. You leave it on for a few minutes, and then in circular motions, you rub off the peel, and it rubs off your outer, upper layer of skin off your face. And it just gives you, it clears all the dirt and all, the, all your pores, and it's amazing. It was about $30, if I remember rightly, um, but really, really worth it. And you, you know, you're supposed to do it once a week. I try and do it kind of once every two weeks because I don't really get as much time um, to do it. But this is an amazing product. <laughs> a product which is perfect for kind of the winter months is the Shurmura Cleansing Oil. Um, it's the party season here in the UK now because it's obviously Christmas time is coming and November and December is just notorious for the big parties and going out which means a lot of makeup in the evenings, lipsticks and all sorts and this cleansing oil is amazing to get off all that makeup no matter how much foundation or makeup you've got on this cleansing oil would get it off the only problem is it is quite an expensive product I'm always already halfway through if you guys know any dupes for this product do comment below because I really want to know if there's any dupes out there because I don't know if I can repurchase this again at the price that it is because you know it's about 28 30 pounds for a bottle of this size although it lasts quite a while it's a little bit pricey so if I can find a cheaper version that's just as good I'd love that so do let me know below um, this product's really good for kind of October November December the winter months because it is very very um, cleansing and hydrating for the skin and it kind of gives you a nice, without being greasy, it gives you a nice kind of little bit of an oily kind of finish and you know, and then you're off to bed anyway so it's kind of nice and, and in the morning when you wake up your skin does feel quite soft and very very clean because this gets off all of your makeup, any trace of makeup and it's gone. Another product I totally love is Scrub Your Nose In It by Soap and Glory from Boots. Why did they discontinue this product? I've had to buy two bottles of this on eBay because Boots no longer sell this product, but I love it. It's so amazing. It's a, a facial scrub and it, it really, really does give you a really nice, um, clears, clears your face in the morning and wakes you up and it smells lovely and the consistency is really nice. So they have discontinued this product, but if you want to get your hands on it, then get check out eBay because I'm sure you can still get it on there. I only bought this a few weeks ago, although I've been using it for over a year or so, um, but now I can no longer get it in boots, which is boo. <laughs> Another product that I've been using for a few years is Smooth Care's Hair Lightener, and this is in boots. And this is kind of similar to Jolene, which some of you guys may use, and it's a bleach for your hair. And if you want to lighten any of your body hair, this is perfect. This is what I use for my fine hairs on my face. 
it is amazing. If you want to lighten any facial hair and if you have just tiny little hairs which you, you feel a little bit self-conscious about, you don't want to remove them because they might come back thicker and coarser, this is a great product to try out. So this is from Boots 2 and it's about five or six pounds, so really affordable. A couple of fashion products I want to talk about is my POW necklace. I have this really cool POW necklace and every time I wear it someone always comments on it and it's pretty cool so I absolutely love that and that was a few pounds from Primark which I got a few weeks ago. I really really love that and total bargain as well. I love the chunky chain on as well and the gold. It's really cool. And another necklace is one I picked up in H&M and it's got a cool little triangle and I've worn this load throughout October as well totally loving this necklace kind of when I'm going for a bit more of the delicate look so this is perfect for that uh, food product I'm loving is the Rouse Pure and Natural Honey this is absolutely delicious you can literally just put your finger in it and it's just delicious absolutely delicious this is ideal for tea because I don't like to use sugar in tea so this is a great substitute and it was just recently I just recently discovered it so I wanted to share it with you guys if you like honey in your tea or on your yogurt or on your cereal give this one a go it's absolutely delicious and a couple of kitchen items that I want to show you um, are from Ikea and this is a really cute little teacup with red spots. Love this because I can't always drink a whole mug of tea so this is perfect because it's just a small little cup and makes enough tea just enough for me in the mornings and I love that. And a cute little bowl that I picked up in Ikea too with yellow stripes and I love like fun kitchenware. Um, anything that's bright and spotty or stripy and colourful I love that. The songs and the album that I'm really loving right now has got to be Emily Sandé. I am such a huge fan of her. I love all her music and her album is absolutely amazing. I listen to that literally every morning on the train to work. Love Emily Sandé. Her songs are so inspiring and motivating and love it. And one of her most famous, famous songs that you guys might have heard is Read All About It. And if you haven't checked her out, do check out Emily Sandé. I'm a huge fan. A couple of films that I've watched in October have been Prisoners really really good movie and Captain Phillips a uh, equally amazing movie I've been very lucky this month I've managed to get to the movies twice and watch two incredible movies so go and check them out if you get a chance anyway that is all my October favorites guys I hope you've enjoyed them and please do subscribe or comment below I'm, I'm working really hard to make my channel successful and grow and if you guys want to show me some love do subscribe um, I will bring you content that you guys want to watch please do comment below because I'll try and do things that you know you guys recommend to me or what you want to see so either click the like button comment below or don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one take care bye, -bye.